Hello, people of YouTube. My name is the Unknown Reactor. As you can tell from my name, um, this is gonna be a reacting channel. Hello, friends. Welcome to Movie Community College. Welcome. I keep waiting for you to pop in, and you're not. I'm not popping. Anything. We so. have a video today. Yes, that's the purpose of us being here. We have and a video today. It is a Kalam inspirational. Yes. Talk. A little speech about success and failure. Yes, and how do you manage those? Right. Can I just Good. tell you, uh, success is never final, and failure is never fatal very good very good that's not your own quote by the way no. i think everybody knows who said that yeah let's watch shall we let's watch sir this is a great lesson of which no university taught me no book taught me but that one person that institution that taught me such a big uh, lesson mm. so i thought of sharing with you how to manage success most importantly the failure I have repeated a number of times, I don't mind repeating that one incident. That incident for me is a university education. I have not read anywhere. I have, uh, so far, I have gone around the orbit 71 times around the sun. I have not gone through any education, such a beautiful education I got in seven, 1979, 1980 period. I thought of sharing with you on this occasion. It is like this, 1979, August 17th, we were ready for launch of a satellite launch vehicle with 44 subsystem and thousands of so thousands of uh, components. It was built in Vikram Sarabhai Space Center and at that time, Professor Shati Stavan was the chairman of Atomic Energy uh, Space Commission and he is also Space Center. And he gave me the task in 1973 to build a satellite launch vehicle, uh, to put a satellite in the orbit 1973, he gave me this task. In 79, we were ready, thousands of engineers, 10,000 of workers and staff, they all worked together. Then we moved the satellite launch vehicle from Vikram Sarabhai Space Center uh, to the now Satish Dhawan Space Center at Sri Kota. So the launch vehicle was uh, was in the in the launch pad, and the day 17th August 1979, and I am the mission director, project director, and we are all in the control center. And computer takes over, of t minus eight minutes, computer will take over because very difficult for me as a mission director to check hundreds of parameters. So it has to be checked. Computer, we hand over the whole launch of the rocket system to the computer so when t minus eight minutes came i handed over to the uh, to the computer for the launch on 17th august 7 1979 and thousands of people are waiting for the launch mission centers and they are working throughout the country and some downrange stations exactly at t minus eight minutes computer took over and then at t minus four minutes computer put a hold it says don't launch. Oh. So we were all, because at that time, the whole rocket system alive and every yes, explosive system, propellant system, electronic system, all are on ready to launch. Computer says don't launch at T minus four minutes. Then immediately a computer printout comes out. There is some problem in the second stage control system. There's a leakage, so you don't launch. <laughs> Behind me, there are number of uh, experts, six, seven experts, my, my expert 10 years, 20 years experienced people. I turn to them and they are in their computers to find out what happened. And they tell me within a, within a minute, they say there's a problem in the second state control mm -hmm. system and mm -hmm. we cannot launch, computer says, but we believe as the experts, the, the igniter, the, that is oxidizer, uh, sufficiently more there even though there's a leakage in system, you can launch. They asked me to launch. That is, I can say to the computer, to shut off the computer, I can manually launch the rocket system. Uh -huh. I took the, I discussed with my experts, I believed in them, I agreed with them, I'm responsible for it, I immediately put the rocket in the manual mode. 
So rocket took off, 100 seconds, beautiful launch, and the rocket first stage uh, did its job. It's the four stage rocket system. Then the second stage took off within a minute, within a second, it we got it to spin. That means it should be steady. It's a control rocket system by a guidance system. But it was going to the spin. I knew I lost the rocket system. Mm -hmm. Within few seconds, instead of putting the satellite in the orbit, the whole system went to Bay of Bengal. Mm. So it was a failure. And then how do you handle a failure? It's very important for the entrepreneurs. Life is not so simple. It's a, we have to handle the failures with stout heart. My chairman, that is the Professor Satish Dhawan, exactly at 6.30, I was very tired of continuously working. He come to my room, you join me for a press conference. On that day, press conference, in the morning, there's a press conference. Hundreds of uh, press reporters, media people have assembled. Just, Professor Stavan told me, Satish Stavan told me, I am going to handle the press conference. You are going to come with me. He took me there. And there was a press, the national press, the international press. They asked a lot of questions. How can you put 20 crores in Bay of Bengal, one guy asked. Mm. And like that, so many serious questions. After all, people will ask questions, the people's money. So like that, number of questions were there. And uh, Professor Satish Stavan said, Yes, it's a failure. First time we have launched, we have gained a lot of system and definitely we will succeed. I'll give all the support to my technologies. I'll give all the support to my scientists. I will, we will succeed in a year's time, he said. Friends, did you observe what happened there? I am the mission director. I am the project director. I have failed the missions. With me, 5,000 people have worked. But Chairman, Indian Space Research Organization, he took the responsibility of the failure. He completely switched my failure to his failure. This is the leadership quality. Mm. Ex exactly after one year, that is 18th July 1980, we go to the launch pad and the countdown starts. T minus eight minutes, I hand over to the computer. Computer checks out. First stage, it, 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 it initiates the rocket system. First stage gives the required velocity. Second stage gives the required velocity. Third stage gives the required velocity. And fourth stage required the escape velocity for the put the satellite in the orbit. I am seeing in front of me. How, what is the performance taking place? I took the micros, I put the mic, I announced all the station. Here is your mission director. The satellite is in the orbit and we congratulate you, I told them. Now that's not the important, that's one of the important things happened. But after 30 minutes, Vikram Satish Tavan called me, go for press conference, you conduct the press conference, he said. Can you see the significance? Failure he took it, the success he gave me to my team. This is a great lesson. It's a great lesson. <laughs> this, uh, this is a great lesson of which no university taught me, no book taught me, but that one person, that institution that taught me such a big uh, lesson. So I thought of hearing. Nice. So, um, what did you think? I think he's a very wise man. Yes, I agree. I agree. Um, oftentimes... Very relatable. Yes. Oftentimes we do learn more from our failures um, than we do our successes. And um, I think that you learn a whole lot about yourself when you go through failures. Um, I think the real you comes out when, when you're going through failure. Um, and obviously we could see that for him, that spurred him on to um, figure out what the issues were and to make sure that he was able to uh, conduct this mission in a way to bring it to uh, final success. So. Um, very wise. Yes. I agree. That was a good video. Good, good video. clip. I appreciate that. 
Bye, India. Bye. Thank you for watching our videos. Will you please subscribe to our channel? And will you please give this video a thumbs up? Thank you.